Hello everybody, my name is Retrolyzer and welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box, where we're in the process of fleeing from this godforsaken castle. And what a better way to do so than to head upstairs to the secret room, it seems. Well, let's get out of here. This door's shut tight too. This door serves as the only portal out of here. We'll need to open it to escape. Indeed, the magic lock. It seems that the lock here is some sort of magic square. In order to solve it, position the remaining numbers so that each string of four vertical, horizontal, and diagonal numbers add up to the same total. Solve the magic door, I mean the magic square, to open the door. Well, let's first have a look at what we've got. 8, 3, 6, and 1. Let's see, so 8, 11... 11, 11, 11, um, 11, 17, 18. So every single number, every single string will equal 18. Fair enough. So, so 18. Well, if that's the case, then for this, for this row here, We've already got 8 and 4 in place. In fact, let's try um, a different tack. We uh, have 7, 6 and 2 here. That equals 15. So 3 goes here. Then of course 4, 7 and 1. That would equal 12. And that would mean 6 goes here. Then of course 8, 3 and 5. That's 16. So 2 goes here. Then... 5, 11, 7 goes there, and now we're in a bit of a, a muddle here. Let's see, 7 and 6, that would equal, let's see, 7 and 6, that would equal 13, and that would mean a total of 5, so that would go here and here, and then from this, that would be 8, 12, 13, voila, and there we go. Magic. And now to test my theory. And we're out. And there we have it. Indeed. Let's get the fuck out of here. Onwards to freedom. Luke, the vent is open. Follow me. Indeed. Let's be gone from this place. Welcome to the dining room. Oh, hello there. I'm now going to go straight out. Take care. Oh dear. Whoops. Uh, let me just, uh, head straight back the way I came. Professor, I think I see a way we can get out of here. Our search led us to the castle, and we're on the verge of revealing what killed Dr. Schrader. We must search this place thoroughly. Hmm. We can't turn back and run. I see. So, in the end... We don't actually escape, we instead turn back at the last second and face certain doom against someone who wants to um, murder us. Fucking smart. Well, let's head inside then if that's the bloody case. Let's see what we've got. Uh, nothing as of yet, but... Oh, hello there, Katya! Oh, I do believe that's Katya! Welcome! I could ask you the same thing. It's dangerous here. There's a vampire living in this castle, you know. I'm quite puzzled, Katya. What do you know about this man? Oh, don't worry. She's related. She looks diabolically similar to that individual we saw in our hallucination or whatever it was. If you linger here, the madness will grip you before long. Madness? I don't believe I understand. Please be honest with us. Hmm... I know the way out. Follow me. How are you related to this entire situation? Are you? There's no time. You've got to get out of here. <laughs> this won't do. People are trying to sleep, you know. Is it you? It can't be. Oh, how I've waited. It's been so unbearably long. 
Professor, do you know what he's talking about? Not in the slightest. Come closer, my dear sweet Sophia. I've missed you so. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, then. Is this how it is? I didn't see this coming, Leighton. Not at all. I'm not sure I understand. This is your fault, but you can't have my Sophia. You're going to be very sorry you crossed me. <gasps> <gasps> There's no lack of swords here. Take whichever one you like. Know this, though. Only one of them is real. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. <gasps> this looks like the final puzzle. One true sword. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. These are Anton's last words to Professor Layton before the start of their duel. Can you find the one real sword among Anton's collection. I see. A true warrior keeps his sword in hand, so I would assume it's this one. At least I hope it is. Good luck, everybody! Consider this puzzle solved. Ha! Huh, wonderful! Nicely done! Anton's, saw, Anton's words were a subtle hint that all the swords on the wall were for show. Is the one sitting in the hand of the suit of armour. And we're done. I didn't think you had it in you, Mr. Layton. belongs to me. You can't have her. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just need to catch my breath. No more! Please, just stop! What's happened to me? Are you all right? Please just stop, Grandfather. Your body can't take it. What did you say? I don't understand. Sophia, dear. You haven't figured it out, have you? You really don't know. Then I guess it's up to me to tell you the truth. I'm your granddaughter, Anton. Don't be ridiculous. Look at me. I'm too young to be anyone's grandfather. But what you see around you isn't real. It's just an illusion created by your own mind. Your youth is part of that illusion. The truth is, well... Allow me, please. The gold mine built by your father, the late Duke Herzen, brought this town much growth and prosperity. But something terrible slept deep within that rich gold deposit. Unbeknownst to the miners, they hit a vein of hallucinogenic gas while digging for gold. The gas made those who breathed it extremely susceptible to mental suggestion of all types. Tales of the nightmarish vision seen in Folsense then spread, as did the town's sinister reputation. In truth, neither the Folsense we see before us nor its residents really exist. This is all a creation of our minds. How did you figure it all out, Professor? The images of Folsense we saw are 50 years old, yet they show a town identical to the Folsense of today. 
no town can remain unchanged for 50 long years. The photos we saw in the train station formed our impression of the full sense we'd see. The full sense of 50 years ago. Enough of this madness. False sense is real. I'm real. None of it's real, Grandfather. This town is just a thin shadow, an illusion born of greed. You and Sophia, everything you know changed 50 years ago. Katya is the granddaughter of Sophia and Anton. Katia set out for false sense to make sure that Anton understood Sophia's true feelings and reasons for leaving him. The hallucinogenic gas present in false sense's air caused Leighton and the others to imagine the station as it was in the many photographs lining the corridor leading out of the building. But you and I are betrothed. How can you just leave me here? I won't have it! This whole town is cursed. If we remain here, all those dear to me will die. Am I not dear to you, Sophia? Stay with me, and we'll rebuild full sense together. I'm sorry, Anton, but there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. Is that the real reason you want to go? Because there's someone else? I trusted Sophia, and she left me for another. You've got it all wrong, Grandfather. She never betrayed you. What? The other she was talking about was the little life growing inside her. The life you two created together. No. That can't be. I'm sorry, Anton. But there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. I never knew. Sophia was... That's right. Grandmother was carrying my mother, and she left full sense to keep her safe. She kept the baby a secret to avoid causing you more pain. I've been so wrong. Grandmother passed away last year. But she was always talking about you, even toward the end. She never stopped loving you. Anton invented the whole vampire scheme to scare off those who would try to loot the Hertzen fortune. He did this by whisking away all those who came too close to the castle, and then setting them free to run away, once properly scared. Sophia is dead? No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh. Grandfather, no! Please stop! Oh. We must leave now! The whole place is starting to crumble! Come with me! What's this? What's happening? Huh? <gasps> Come on, Grandfather! We have to get out of here! Be careful!
It seems I've found the answers I was searching for. Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So, the box wasn't cursed after all? No, Luke. There's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. The same fumes that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. Those who opened the box expected death, and in doing so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. I suppose it was just an ordinary box then. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. What do you mean? The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. But we checked the box. It was as empty as could be. Ah, well that's because there's actually a second way to open it. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. Huh. The final puzzle, the Elysian Box. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These words are the key to opening the Elysian Box proper. It's up to you to find a way to open the box and solve the final puzzle of our story. I see. Hmm. Ah. This looks like um, what we're looking for. And then, let's see. Uh, you then need to find a way to open the box when the wind blows. Hmm. When the wind blows. Am I, am I meant to blow on it? Could it really be? Well, there's only one way to find out. Last time I did something like this was um, Ace Attorney, and I ended up um, having a coughing fit, so... <clears throat> Let's go and see. Lungs at the ready? <sighs> yes. They seem alright. <gasps> Pretty. Here goes! That was almost too easy! No, it isn't. Hmm, what was the message that Anton left to his sweetheart all those years ago? Let's find out. Hmm. I did it! Oh! What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. The box must have made it to her after all. My dear Anton, are you well? I received your letter. Though I'd like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. 
Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story, and that is our lovely granddaughter Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born. But Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you, even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, though my time here is drawing to a close, I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy, my dear Anton. Goodbye. But just for now, your Sophia. Oh, Sophia. I finally understand now. It turns out that the Elysian box was crafted 50 years ago to carry a letter from Anton to his love, Sophia. A gas present in the material used to make the box causes hallucinations in those who open it. These visions are now the rumours, well, are how the rumours of a curse began. Grandfather. Hmm? Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I am so happy we met my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. It's been so long, so very long, in fact, that I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. <laughs> Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. There's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. And that was the tale of the Elysian box, a relic feared for the fatal curse it was said to carry. But, when all was said and done, there was no curse sleeping under its gilded lid. Instead, the box was revealed for what it truly was. A vessel created to carry the love of two kindred spirits through all of time. While terror brought the box its notoriety, in the end, its most powerful message was one of love. Puzzle Master Akira Targo, creator of the puzzles that we've been through, and my god, they've been hor horrific on my mind. But then of course I was never um, one for um, puzzles. My mind just isn't um, used to it. It's more used to um, simpler logical problems like um, the contents of Ace Attorney. 
but still. It's been an intriguing adventure, and I'm very sure for those who've come along, hopefully my complaints about um, the puzzle content haven't detracted too much from the story, because there is of course that, and I did state that um, everything becomes worthwhile for um, the um, curious village in the last few minutes. Even though, of course, as I stated in my review of it, the story did sort of get um, pushed out of the way. But still, that's solely because, um, well, I just aren't that... I'm just not that good. I'm not that good at puzzles. Always have been, never will be good. But still, with that... Ooh, actually, that is a good question. Is Schrader dead for good? I'm... well, no, pe maybe. Hmm... No, surely he couldn't... couldn't have died. You can't hallucinate dying, surely. Maybe he's still alive. But I'm afraid we'll have to go and find out some other time. And that's gonna be a while, because quite frankly I've had enough of Professor Layton for now. And of course, with that, it is time to go and end it there, ladies and gentlemen. For I have run out of time, and we have come to the end of this adventure with Professor Herschel Layton of Gresson Heller University, if I'm not mistaken. Regardless, if you can't wait until next week to see what replaces this game, do please check out the selection boxes on my left, or go to the channel itself. There is plenty more to be seen. Thank you very much once more for watching, and of course from me, ta-ta!